This sounds amazing, right? During night time though, no photosynthesis takes place. The only cellular process that occurs is respiration. Come on now, can any one of you tell me which gas is produced as a result? Yes, carbon dioxide. The somata allows carbon dioxide to pass through them. And hence we can say that the leaves lose carbon dioxide at night. Well, now we understand how stomata are active in young stems and leaves, but they are not solely responsible for the entire gas exchange. Sometimes a thick waxy layer called the cuticle serves a similar purpose. While it's present in plants mostly to prevent the loss of water, it sometimes helps with gaseous exchange as well. Okay, so now that we have talked about the fresh young plants with their soft green stems, cuticle and stomata, how about we take a look at the big woody trees and other plants that have a dry exterior surface, bark. It seems tough and resistant to any exchanges. So tough that it does not allow gases or water to pass through it. But then, in order to survive and function properly, these regions too need a gas exchange mechanism. Don't you think so? Well, that brings us to this image here. Can you notice these slight raised areas on the bark's surface? Well, these are the specialized pores called lenticels. They allow gas exchange in the stem of a woody plant. Yes, these pores permit swift diffusion of gases through them. You can also find lenticels on mature roots. The young tiny roots, thankfully, are already surrounded by gases, so they don't need these pores. So, today we talked about the three special features of plants that allow an efficient gases exchange. Nature really is so remarkable, isn't it?